Hi, I'm Regina Sexton from Adult Continuing Education, University College Cork, and I'm here today with James Cronin, who coordinates the Diploma in European Art History. Um, this diploma is 21 years in existence this year, which James, I think, is quite an achievement. Can you tell us something of the success of your course? Well, Regina, the course actually began life as uh, an art history programme before it became the European Art History Programme. And its success, I think, can be accounted for for the fact that in the 1990s, there was huge interest in the visual arts in Cork. Um, several people began to collect art, and then this spurred an interest in wanting to know something about the history of art. So initially we had retired teachers and professionals such as lawyers and doctors, but then increasingly uh, people came along not just for interest but also for professional development. So we've had everybody from framers uh, to surgeons. Um, and in terms of its development, the course helped to uh, develop interest in the uh, art history program which was established in 2001 as a full department and uh, recently art history has been included in the medical curriculum in the medical school and again this came um, from the European art history program from ACE. I think James there must be something quite attractive about the course um, for students given its success can you talk about perhaps the structure and the content of what people will meet if they do do your course? Well, the course is uh, modelled on a two-year cycle. The first year is a certificate year and it is composed of four modules. And the second year also has four modules. But the break in between the two years is around 1750, which is the neoclassical period in terms of style. But we begin with the classical uh, period, uh, ancient Greece and Rome, from about the 5th century BC, and we work up to contemporary and modern art in the mid and late 20th century. Um, increasingly, we've gone more towards contemporary art because the graduates who are teaching on that particular module are particularly interested in that aspect. But really, the course is a broad survey of European art. It's looking at uh, European identity and culture through the visual artefact of the visual arts. James, I understand that you've been involved with the course since the near beginning and now we know that it's 21 years old this year um, and I'm sensing there must be something quite unique about your course as well. Can you maybe tell us about the unique aspects of the diploma? I think one of the unique aspects of the course is that we tailor it to people's needs. We keep changing and evolving the programme over time so we are directly responding to the needs of the adult learner. And indeed, I have contributed in uh, the last 10 years to very much introducing students, graduates from art history, uh, to teach on the programme, because I am very keen on giving these graduates opportunities to teach in higher education. And it also means that the students um, are experiencing fresh ideas, fresh research uh, from these young uh, graduates. Um, also, we have very successful uh, tours, study tours, uh, not just in Cork and Dublin, but also in London, Edinburgh, and the programme has gone as far afield as Rome and Paris uh, throughout its history. Here we see the tours as connected with ways of looking and seeing art, and it's about authentic looking. So not just uh, seeing art within the lecture hall, but experiencing it within the gallery and further afield experiencing it within the built environment of the city. And also I think we have managed to link with areas like the Glucksman Gallery and the Crawford and to see art as something that is um, enriching of people's lives uh, and making connections not just seeing art in isolation, but seeing it as embedded within the culture and the history and the literature and the philosophy um, of Western culture and civilization. Um, and these tours are very popular. Um, and because of that, we hope to develop them and extend them over time. But I think that also is, is a unique feature of the programme. Thank you, James. Um, the Diploma in European Art History is now open for applications for the new academic year. Uh, contact details are available at the end of this film.